Super easy. Can you hear me? Yeah, Brad, can you hear me? Yeah, I got to turn the volume up because my old ears, you know? You <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Super, super. How has the pandemic uh, worked for you guys? I mean, I know you probably were able to get some tennis in, but did they have to wear masks and how did that work? Yeah, so it's been different throughout the, you know, through the different fluctuations and phases. And, and fortunately, I, and I think, you know, just realistically, when, when, when they're out competing and practicing, they don't have to wear masks. And, and that's, that makes sense because obviously you, you'd be, you, you couldn't breathe and we probably have a lot more hospitalizations uh, if we were required to wear a mask, you know, while competing. But but all other all other aspects, uh, you know, we're wearing the mask. Uh, you know, when they when they're in the lobbies, when they're in the common areas of the building, and so forth. It's just when they're out on court. We got an unstable internet connection. Did, did you catch that, Jim? Sorry, I know we got a little instability on the internet. Yeah, a little. I caught most of it, but uh, next question is, oh, okay. what do you see with these teams coming in for this tournament this weekend? Uh, what kind of competition? Or I know you guys are playing number one USC, but who else you looking at uh, coming in this weekend? Yeah, I mean, everybody, so everybody's loaded. I mean, I, that's the number one thing. So on, on top of this being, the, you know, essentially the best eight teams in the country, uh, you also have all the super seniors. So our roster is similar. You get that? No, it's fine. I think it's fine. seniors on it which makes us uh you know stronger than than uh than sort of say normal this year but almost every team across the board has that same scenario so you've got teams with guys uh north carolina for example will, will blumberg is the i think the second player in tennis history to be an eight-time all-american and now he's back for his fifth year so you got a lot of teams like that that are just stacked to the gills uh with talent so i think every single team across the board deserves to and uh Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every single match is going to be a huge challenge for us. Hey, Coach, how are you? I'm sorry, I don't, my video is not working for some reason, but can you hear me okay? I've got you, Marley, yep. Okay, awesome. Uh, so how many super seniors are you returning, actually, this year? Uh, so we've got four super seniors that are back. So we, we had five seniors last year. Guy Gomes has graduated, and he's out in California, but... Uh, so the four guys we have back, Alex Kovacevic, Noe Khalif, Vuk Budic, and Zeke Clark. So all those guys are currently in graduate programs, which is, you know, tremendous for them to, uh, to get a leg up in, in terms of getting some post-grad work done. So we're, we're obviously thrilled to death to have those guys back here contributing for us this year and also for them to, to be getting ahead, uh, you know, with the with – Sorry, you broke up a little bit again at the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Marley. So we're just, we're working on some, some internet connection stuff. Yeah, here. no worries. <laughs> so do you have me now, Marley? Yep, I still got you. Okay, um, so... First off, let me just make sure you got so Kovacevic, Clark, Budic, and Khalif are all four of our super seniors, and and all four of those guys are are currently doing uh, post grad work. So again, exciting to have those guys on our team, and and also excited for their uh, opportunities to you know to get ahead academically as well for their futures. Sure. Did it take any like convincing on your part? I mean, what was the process in? maybe their decision making to come back or you know decide if they if they wanted to move on Khalif, they had already last spring uh during their senior they'd already started their master's of accountancy pr uh, program so it was a no-brainer for both of those guys they, they were going to be here this year uh either of, of getting to compete another year and then I think Z Clark would would do uh, give his left arm to, to to play in one more dual match. So you know I think it was kind of a no brainer for him. And then Kova I think was 
you know, trying to weigh the, the, the uh, prospects. I think his first intent was to play professional tennis, but when it came down to it and you look at the opportunities and, and there's, there's hardly any tournaments in the U S right now, uh, most of the tournaments are, are in sort of far flung places like Tunisia and so forth. So I think it came to him like, again, chance to, he's in a finance program. So he's, he's getting a great start on a, on a tremendous degree and, and also getting to play here. So it was a little bit different for each guy, but I think one of, one of our main things was, is we told these, told this in the guys in the beginning, they don't, they don't know Illinois tennis, anything. They've been incredible ambassadors for four years and, and we appreciate everything they've done. So any decisions they want to make would be just entirely for their best interest because they've, they've worked their tails off for, for four years prior to this. Yeah, and is this like a coach's dream for you to maybe have your, your core group of veterans back, but also, you know, the new guys that you're welcoming in just to kind of mesh them together? It, it is. It is. And, and again, I, I think, you know, it would be different, um, maybe with different characters, but when you look at the quality of the leadership um, in that group and the quality of people and personnel and their work ethic and their dedication, they're, they're incredible models for our, for our young guys. And so I'm so thrilled that, that uh, you know, the Hex and the Meisters and the, and the Petrovs and Kenyades, the guys that haven't been here quite as long are, are getting this extra additional time with those four, uh, with those four guys. I think it's going to help us a lot as we move forward. And what's the benefit just to playing, you know, some of the country's best teams this early in the season and kind of seeing where you guys are at? Yeah, it's, it's going to be really tricky because again, we, we host national indoors quite often. And so we're used to seeing this level of, of play, but typically beforehand we've gotten, you know, eight, nine matches under our belt, uh, you know, before going in against this level of competition. And, you know, we, we did a, an inter-squad scrimmage on Saturday night, and it was interesting to see our guys were nervous during that. You know, it's been eight, nine months since they've competed a lot of them. And so you could see the nerves come out there. Yesterday against Wisconsin, I was thrilled to, to get the victory. But, you, again, you could just see that it's it's not normal yet to, to sort of be in that competitive flow. So one of the things we're going to have to do is, you know, when you haven't competed in a while and you start competing, that's when sort of the – the bumps and bruises and all that stuff come out too. So we got to figure out a way where we can get through the weekend uh, from a health standpoint. And then at the same time, get, get some rhythm in terms of how we're progressing and, and get the feel for the court again and the feel for competition. So uh, practice can, can never simulate uh, the game environment. I can promise you that. Right. Did you, was your like training period um, before the season shortened at all? Was that affected by the pandemic? Yeah, well, this fall was, uh, you know, it was just start and stop for, for a number of our different guys. You know, we, we've had, it's just really interesting how many times training got interrupted. And I think it was last week was the first day we had uh, at our whole team. Practice. We, you know, it was August and last week we did not have one day where we had our full team of practice. And so it, it was almost like, oh, we actually do have a team here, to, you know, to So, so sorry, you broke up a little bit again. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was just mentioning that um, that you know, this fall training was was interrupted, stop, start again and again, uh, numerous times. And you know, we understand with the COVID protocols what we have to do, but it was incredibly frustrating for us as coaches. And and it was just last week it was the first time all year that we've had a whole team uh, there for practice. And so it was kind of fun to, fun to have that, but man, it's been, it's been a, a challenging and frustrating go to, uh, you know, to have so many stops and starts and, and it's really tough on the, on the student athletes, mental health and their well being as well, because they're, you know, consistency, it, it, consistency in their sports uh, training helps their academics. It helps their mental health. It helps everything. And we've been very inconsistent this year. All right. Um, I think I'm good. Thank you, coach. Thank you, Marley. Great. I just got one more for you. I know with the other athletes, you know, athletes and the programs doing their uh, random, you know, their testing every day. Do you guys have that same regimen? And have you guys had any uh, positive cases that sideline anybody for any length of time? Yeah. So, you know, I'm not sure my, the exact liberties, but yes, we've had, we've had some cases. Uh, we've, we've had some sidelines. We've had contact tracing. We've had have sort of had the whole, run of things. And, and, um, and again, that led to some of the disruptions and so forth. Uh, we are going through a, you know, the rigorous big 10 uh, testing protocols. 
we are not, um, you know, they've tiered the risk levels of sports and tennis is in the lowest tier, thankfully. So we, uh, we're testing six times a week, a uh, combination of saliva and antigen. And, um, and through that, I think needless to say, there's a tremendous amount of, of support, tremendous amount of resources committed to, to ensuring the, uh, the health and safety of these student athletes. Thanks, Brad. Thanks so much for this morning. Appreciate the time. Thanks. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Marla.